right, you guys, time for another video. And I'm just going to go ahead and not beat around the bush here and just say it. And I figure, um, and add other videos to explain it later. But I'm just going to make this statement, which I've been saying on blogs and text for a long time and telling to people. And I'm going to go ahead and fucking say it. And it's the damn truth. Because after all, you know, uh, you're walking down a path like this th and you're saying things that came to me. Any ideology you take on, things that you say and think and you speak them and the stuff you do. When you do that and when you say this and that and when you do this and that and when you don't do this and that. And the stuff you do, don't do and say and don't say. You're choosing a path, you know, just like walking down this whole path here. So anyway, one of my issues I always say, I say this on blogs, on all kinds of social media, intentionally, and I don't care who it pisses off, and it's the fucking truth. You know, even on Peaceful Road and Peaceful Parks, you can swear a little bit, but yeah. Question. Um, I always say this on blogs, why in the hell... Who the hell do some people think they are that they can, um, they th who, what do they think they are and who do they think they are that they can, uh, just think they think they're anything just because they, um, truck coming, make a noise, I'm gonna pass by. Alright, truck passed by, here I had to go on the side. Alright, where was I? Um, yeah, they think they're some big shit just because they join a crowd and a mob. A bunch of people approve of them, and maybe some of them are lonely, and some of them are losers with no friends, with the percentage of them anyway. Go to an, on a mob, some of them do damage and vandalism too on a nice day, even if they don't. Block traffic, do all that shit on mostly a nice sunny days. A lot of this shit, whether it's whatever reasons, uh, these protests. Yeah. It really, yeah, you really think you're something, and a mob approves you, too, and you speak against it. Uh, you can cancel culture, too. Yeah, you can do that fucking shit on a, a sunny day, but when time comes before the holidays for people to stand out in the cold and raise money for the poor, which a lot of it, too, is for adults and kids, and some of them are, are white kids and black kids, too. And, yeah, you'll go and join a... A mob going to a fucking protest march around in some cities they're doing damage and vandalism in a name of racial equality right but when it comes time to you do that on a fucking nice day but when the time comes say on a holiday that if you're asked to stand out in the cold and raise money for the poor which in a lot of your name uh, which in a lot of your neighborhoods right it's uh a lot of the population is black people, which are getting food boxes, especially not just during protests during this COVID thing, which is a good thing. And yes, I do this in a charity, and it's for a religious organization, and I fucking swear, so the fuck what? Because it's the fucking truth. And you know why? I have friends in the old neighborhood that were also black, and this is, guess the fuck what? This is how we fucking talk, you know what I mean? And there was a few... Uh, that were friends of mine, black gentlemen, who, uh, yeah, quote scripture, and we swear, yeah, and to know these things, if you're black or white, and you, uh, happen upon this, it's the fucking truth. That's how, how the hell do you think that so many, uh, free-thinking, uh, black individuals, black gentlemen who have YouTube channels are getting, um, Deleted from YouTube, getting flagged and deleted from YouTube for telling the truth because they're free thinking and they ain't going for all that uh, other bullshit that like uh, Silicon Valley is kissing the ass of and patronizing and um, yeah, and, and these people claim that they're challenging, they're um, excuse me, uh, champion racism, yeah. Well, geez, yeah, you get say, free-thinking black people that uh, think you should, that society should go a different way, uh, all of a sudden speaking against the popular bullshit that's being uh, 
mainstreamed on the news now that they claim they're fighting for equality. They're actually right. You get, yeah, you get black people on there. Some of them are pretty good black preachers, even though I can't stand big religion. Some of these black individuals are against uh, big religion. Some of them ain't necessarily for Donald Trump. Some of them are. Some of them ain't. Some of them don't really say. But yeah, anyway, they go against the other ideology that's all over the news, you know, mainstreaming rioting. And the fair they're against that. Look how many of them are getting deleted from uh, YouTube. Like the guy named Dr. Common Sense, who is at E.T. Williams or something. And then there's a few others that they're trying to shadow ban and block. So, yeah, they're... But anyway, I'm adding a little extra that's supposed to be for a video, but what I originally wanted to say is all this bullshit that goes on, right, and uh, people that go for the holiday season, uh, they want you to go for the holiday season, stand out in the cold, get a few volunteers, right, to stand out in the cold, and maybe try to have fun with it and raise money for the poor, which, like I said, a lot of them are poor black people. And poor black kids that don't have toys raise money. Stand out in the cold, raise the money. What's so fucking hard about that? But, oh, nobody wants to do that. You know, they want to get paid. And they don't want just a little lunch money or a little bit of food or coffees. That's why I do the shit that I do on purpose. Do it well. Don't take... Yeah, if you're somebody that happens to be of color looking at this, this is what I told some of my friends in the old neighborhood I um, used to live in, too, privately. This is how the fuck you uh, uh, stop pro stop his, uh, profiling stuff. No different than me having a ponytail, people. Yeah, I had, yeah, pro I get profiled, too. And, yeah, just because I do a thing too well in a neighborhood, I made, had friends both black and white, and also I made political enemies, even though I ain't anything important politically. You can still say you have political enemies because whether you're black watching this right now or white watching, you do something too well, all of a sudden they spread around that you're on crack and everything. So what you do, you do the job well and not only that, even though the church and the religion and some of the Pharisees say in the Bible, I think some people now that that, uh, that bullshit about doing everything in secret, giving money in secret, and God blesses you in secret. That's for the fucking rich people, the rich Christians and rich people that way, that uh, that's to, to uh, discourage showing off how rich you are and throwing things there out. And in a way, some of them are buying their cells, VIP memberships, and uh, everything else, and you know, I could go on. But uh, I say. The rules are different for some of us. If you want to stop being profiled, do something well. Because when you're in something, it's part of your resume for a job. Go right in front of the cameras. Give it in front of the people. And even put it online. And just like what I preached about some of you guys that are skeptical or some of them, there are few people who agree with me about the gang stalking subject. That's how you stop these fucking people. Go, uh, and you laugh in their face and it also prevent some of your enemies from too many people from believing shit, you know what I mean? And in, in certain ways, you know, you preach public trust openly online and out in, uh, but the hidden thing is also laughing and flipping, flipping your enemies the bird without actually flipping the bird. The hidden message is, don't fuck with me, you tell your neighbors. And you tell your, your neighbors, some of them that might be on the side of your enemies, uh, that are like backstabbers, you know, who some of their, like say your your haters that are like, you're communicating with your haters that are walking by, and it also prevents your friends from believing bullshit because yeah, you can be people trying to do something right, even went to the church or whatever. You can be black or white watching this, and somebody jealous of you do something too well, and <laughs> yeah, I had I had shit like that. It happened to be a poorer town, too. I mean, I even had the police stop and search me and threaten violence and uh, pat me down, check, made me stick my head up, check my nose for cocaine, threaten to knock my effing ass out, you know? So, but there was stuff before that, but to get even with people like that, yeah, if you do what I say, and it's, I point you to some of my other videos and explain, you're smarter than your haters and even smarter than the police. 
But don't get me wrong, not all police are bad, not all any not all white people are bad, not all black people are bad. It's just hey, you got people that put it this way, people will use the local um locals of other races turn you against you turn them against you, whether they're the same race as you or the shit starters that and then the police the same way. They're both used as tools, you know what I'm saying? But uh So people can weaponize the local uh, people or, you know, even the police tell a bunch of lies repeatedly enough and they believe it. But my stepdad always taught me more bees with honey than with vinegar, you know, and I never, I always used to accuse him of being a coward and all that stuff too, but I learned later in life, I said, wait a minute, there's things that I didn't like that I thought, he, I still think sometimes he was a coward, I said, wait a minute modify some things and do better than him I get the basic idea and uh, not I'd have to make a video on a sample like that like if you have a family member like that that they had some things that you hated and some things I said wait a minute some aspects of it wait a minute I can just retool certain ways and use it and better you know that's what you want to do in life you know what I mean yeah if, and you got to do things in life there too, and especially when you go into a new town, or if you're in the old town, like because I'm out of the old town. Things that nobody wants to do and do it well, like for charities and make yourself known, because you you actually want to see something get done, and also get good with the people, so that nobody can pull any Silence of the Lambs or American Horror Story bullshit on you. That's that's the bottom line too. But then when you get into certain things, you start to like what you're doing and you're received by certain people. People are going to get jealous. And um, so in my old town, you know, I think I, I, incl I, I indicated in that in one my old town, you know what I mean? Somebody went to far up far as telling a big enough lie to get the police to search me. Whatever they're looking for, they didn't find. But yeah, like it like it was uh uh, like a scene out of John Carpenter's They Live. It was like, I call it my John Carpenter's They Live moment. Yeah, I had some friends that were colored that I worked next to. I tell them the story, and I, I always tell them about John Carpenter's They Live. Rowdy Rowdy Piper and then the other black actor are there. Put the glasses on, you know. I joked about, hey, me and them do a, uh, a video, do some choreographed sound effects, you know, and, and fake punching and uh, car maybe do it with some cartoon noises put the glasses on and do something that was make it humorous or something but well you know what i mean huh?